La 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 do do do. Curly is in the park. Magic in the city. Over the rainbow at the end of the street is Jubilee Park where the fairies meet. Away from traffic in the neon scene, doing the magic, keeping it green. Fairies, elves, goblins too. You can't see us, but we see you. So watch your step with your person feet. Over the rainbow at the end of the street. Now twinkle, now sparkle, now glimmer, glimmer, shine. Another perfect day in Jubilee Park. Time for a little good morning magic. Hey, sweet sounds, Pearly. Rise and shine, Jasper. Let's get Jubilee Park looking at sparkling best. Ribbit, lily pads in pearly perfect order for you this fine morning. <laughs> Frog Magnificent, love your work. Whoa. Scrag, Mr. Mm. Flea. Huh? What do you two think you're doing? Barley, you've decided to pay us a little visit oh. at last. We've been busy too, you know. We emptied every trash can in the park. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, what you think, Miss Pearly? I think that if persons see this, they won't want to come to Jubilee Park anymore. They'll close it down, and then where will we be? Jasper, you'll have to open the rosebuds while I deal with this. Cool. How come you never thank us for the work we do? I mean, do we smell or something? Yeah, it's discrimination against vermin. These aren't the only trash cans in town, you know. Maybe we should pack our bags and uh, move out? <laughs> really? Now, now, you don't need to leave. I know you're trying, but you need to be a bit more tidy. Oh, well, that's how it is. Yeah, that's how it is. Uh, but... <laughs> A fairy's work is never done. Cooey! What? Pearly, g'day, it's me, Opal. Remember me? From fairy school. Or oh, maybe you remember my mate, Ned. <coughs> easy, Ned, <coughs> easy, mate. <coughs> Sephora? G'day! Really? Manners? That's it, mate. Better out than in. Oh, now I remember you, Opal. Can I get you a cup of hot gum nut tea? Do right. The folks from Fairyland head office sent me here to Jubilee Park to learn the ropes from you. Someday I'll be running my own park back home in the outback. Well, isn't that wonderful? Why don't I show you around? This is the glass house. It keeps the plants inside nice and warm. Holy dooly, plants in the big city live in houses? You'd better not... Excuse me. Stop that racket immediately. Do you have an appointment? Your name? Sapphira? Opal. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. You remember Opal? Everyone at fairy school remembers Opal and that creature of hers. <clears throat> Cousin Sapphira runs a beauty spa here in the glass house. Fairies come from all over to have their hair and nails done. Fairies in the big city can't even wash their own hands or comb their own hair. <laughs> oh, honestly. <laughs> Opal's been sent by head office so I can teach her how to run a park. Well, I hope you've got a lot of patience, Pearly dear. Big city life's hardly suited to an outback fairy, especially in those boots. Hi, these are my best snakeskin boots. Super. Come, Ludwig, I'm suddenly quite bored. Oh, shall I dance for you? Huh? La -da 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 the door, Ludwig. The door. <laughs> Don't mind, Sapphira. She means well. She's just a teensy bit, uh... Obnoxious? I like to think confident. Now, it's time for you to meet Jasper, my right-hand elf. Jasper, 
Wakey, wakey. <laughs> I wasn't asleep. I was just, like, resting my eyes. Jasper will be able to show you how to... Sleep standing up. I already know how to do that. And then you taught me. Cool. Hey, man, I, I love your boots. Darn, mate. By the way, do you reckon there's a spot I could set up camp? I happen to know this cool pad is vacant. Nice. This will do. <laughs> How come head office chose Pearly to train Opal and not me? I could teach them both and the rest of those airheads a thing or two. In fact, why don't I do just that? Today's lesson is why Sapphira should be the boss of Jubilee Park. Ludo! <laughs> Oh, yes, mistress. <laughs> Opal must flunk her study. That way, head office will send both her and Pearly packing. Oh, oh, yes, I like it. What's this? It's my list. I post it every week to remind everybody what their jobs are. Good idea. Back home, the wallabies are always running amok. Hey, what's Pearly up to? Hand me those specs, will ya? Uh-huh. What'd you see? I see Pearlie's list. It doesn't say we've done a good job this week. Uh, it's written in fairy. Who else in this dump can read fairy? Hmm. Um, oh, uh, oh, we could use Super Duper Sparkle on their wings, huh? And glue them to a tree. No, Super Duper Sparkle. Uh. We need another way to ruin Pearlie. <laughs> Who invited you to Mangy Furball? We got Pearlie's list here, and, um, can you read it to us? More of Pearlie's tiresome tasks for everyone. <sighs> Doesn't she realize it takes all my time to look this fabulous? Hey, now we'll never know. Oh, maybe she does want us to move out. <laughs> Uh, um, if I were you two, oh, uh, I'd start packing. Uh, oh, mistress, we'd better put this list of jobs back together again in the right order. Otherwise... Otherwise? Everything will fall apart. Opal will fail her studies and Pearlie will get kicked out of the park. Ludwig! Hand me the Super Duper Sparkle! Oh, finally! Super Duper Sparkle! <laughs> hey, flea bags! That would be us? Yes? Uh, yes. As of now, you two work for me. Oh, yay! <laughs> Pearly, I reckon you'd better come quick. Roots and twigs. Bees spinning a web. Pearly! Spiders can't swim. <gasps> Pearly! Oh, dear. They got stuck up there trying to hang around the light shade like moths. It's so strange. Hold on. A fairy with a lasso? Excellent! Ripper! Oh, this is good. Better than good. And the fun has just begun. I do hope Opal takes notes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for helping, Opal. It's not normally like this, I promise. It's like there's some totally random force at work in the universe. That's okay. I'm sure things go wrong sometimes, even in the best parks. But not in Jubilee Park. After all, I wrote everything on my... my list. What? Bees spin webs? Frogs fly around lampposts? Spiders jump on... Oh, look, pads? Mommy. A fairy. Very nice, dear. <laughs> Wow, Opal, you really saved me there. Rule one, a fairy is always honest and wise and forever hidden from person's eyes. Cool, at Elf College, we learn elves are always true to themselves and never, uh, <laughs> What's the rest? Uh, I think I was taking a nap. Anyway, look at my list. You've got to find how to mess it up, Pearly, before you run out of magic. I know, my wand's almost zapped. Uh, hang on. Says here, rats clean out popcorn cart. I never wrote that. Pearly? No. Use your lasso, Opal. I'm all out. Come back, you flea infested felon. Mistress, super duper sparkle. It's nasty. <laughs> oh, get it off, get it.
get it off? With these nails? Hardly. <laughs> what do you want? Oh, my. Look what the rats dragged in. She did it! She did it! Did what, exactly? Uh, you tore up Pearlie's list and stuck it back together with Super Duper 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 Sparkle. Me? Hardly. Not with these nails. True. Sapphire would never mess up her manicure. But, 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 but... Now, give me a look at your adorable list. Oh, this is outrageous. All the jobs have been swapped around. Obviously, someone wanted you to look bad in front of Opal. Uh... You two dudes should totally pack your bags, like, today. No, 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 no. Jubilee Park's our home. We've just got our drain the way we like it. Filthy. Ah, oh, please, Miss Pearly. Uh, don't kick us out. Huh? Uh, we'll do anything you ask us to. Well, all right, then. I've got something in mind, but make sure you do it, or out you go. Oh, thank you, dear Pearly. <laughs> I hate to interrupt this great festival of Pearly, but I am starting to feel quite unwell. Thanks, Sapphira. You've been a great help. Have I? How unexpected. Aww. You know, Pearly, watching you handle everything today has been amazing. Thanks, Opal. You're not too bad yourself, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the team. <laughs> You're doing a wonderful job. Uh, hi, 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 hi. Gross. <laughs> Berry jam is fantastic. Wash mm. mm -mm. it on all you like, Pearly. We'll need the energy for the end of the day cleanup. Don't mind if I do. Kind of strange Jasper hasn't turned up by now. He's usually like a fly to a horse's tail the moment anyone even says jam. <laughs> Jasper, you could knock. Pearly, oh, I'm um, uh, sleeping and. Persons and tree gone. Oh, oh, yum. Slow down there, Jasper. You might choke yourself if you're not careful. Hey, swallow. <coughs> swallow? A bird? In my shell? The elf is choking. Hold on. <sighs> oh, thanks, Opal. Come and see. Uh, what happened to your tree, Jasper? That's what I've been trying to tell you. The persons cut it down. <gasps> Oh, I don't get these city persons. Why cut down a beautiful tree? That beautiful tree was my home. I'm homeless. Jasper, you can stay in my shell. Take the day off. You've had an awful experience. Ah, uh, Pearly, Jasper wasn't the only one who lived in that tree. They all need new homes. Pearly, see you tomorrow. Bugs bite Silky. Hooray! Yeah. Oh. That's 16 wood beetles, two possums, one owl. Ugh. Everyone sorted. We did good. Yes. Good night, Opal. Good news, Jasper. Everyone's got a new home. Huh? Except you, I guess. Just until I find some new digs. One or two days, tops. Hmm. No worries. You're my right hand elf. <laughs> Memo to me. Find guest bed. And earplugs. Morning, Pearly. I made you breakfast. Thanks, dude, for letting me stay. Oh, Jasper, that's so sweet. But I'll get... Oh, uh, or maybe I won't. <laughs> Stay put there, Pearly. Hope you like your toast well done. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> no, honey? I might have finished it. No problem. I know where there's more. <gasps> Everything okay? Jasper, why don't you take the morning off? I'll look after things while you look for a new place to live, okay? <laughs> okay. Hurley, that's simply dreadful. An elf living in your shell? I do realize your shell is a chaotic mess, but an elf? Oh, Sapphira, I appreciate your concern, but Jasper will find a new home. He's not the kind of elf to live indoors forever. I don't know, Pearly. I once had a freeloading gecko in my log back home in Rainbow Ridge, Raymond. I practically had to boot the bloke out. Jasper's not like that. Well, once he starts messing with his stuff, inviting pals back to party and dropping his skin everywhere, just give me a hoy. Hear that, Ludwig? The elf has moved in with my curly cousin, Pearly. <laughs> oh. They'll be at each other's throats in no time. Oh, why the negativity, Mistress Sapphira? Personally, I think long-term friendship can survive many hurdles. Hmm? You do, do you? Care to make it interesting, bug breath? Oh, a friendly wager, mistress? Let me think. Yes. What? Oh! Uh. What did you do to my shell? I rotated it. Just a little. It's crazy having the sun come in so early in the morning. That crazy sun wakes me up, Jasper. And if I don't wake up, then who wakes you up? My point exactly. <sighs> Whatever, Jasper. I just need to clean myself up. Huh? Where's my wardrobe? Why did you put it up there? Elf Shui. What? Elf Shui. It's a vibe only elves have. A balance between function and a sense of space. Function? It's on the ceiling. Exactly. You know what I love about living here? Your tasty muffins, your bodacious bathtub, and the way it always smells so sweet. Yo, what's up, dog? Love to be, love to be here. <laughs> Don't mind us. We're just practicing. Got any snacks for my buds? Oh! Opal! Pearly, you okay? I'm giving you the hoy now, Opal. I want Jasper out of my shell right now. <sighs> I need my space back, but I don't want to hurt Jasper's feelings. No sweat, Pearly. My trick with a difficult house guest is to make him feel so uncomfortable the fella's got to take off. Hmm. Make him so uncomfortable that he wants to move out? So it's his idea, not mine. I like it. And I think I know just how to do it. What I really love about living in your shell are your hairy muffins, your teeny-weeny bathtub, and the killer stinkweed arrangement. Super stinky. Oh, He's just unstoppable. Don't give up yet, Pearly. We move to the next phase. Find someone else in Jubilee Park who'll take him in. Or someone who doesn't work with him. Sorry, Pearly. The last time Jasper was at my store, he ate all my glitter soap on a ropes and blew bubbles for weeks. Darling cousin, please. Look around you. There's simply no room in my inn. I will take that as a no. The possums are nocturnal, the moths think he's too boisterous, and the birds wouldn't mind eating him. There is one other thing we could try. What's this? Uh, seeing you're having trouble finding somewhere to live, I put an advertisement in the morning myth. Wanted home. Must tolerate elf shui, put up with loud music, and hair on the furniture. Um... I get it. You want me out of here. It's just that... No problem. I can take a hint. Okay? Later, dude. <sighs> huh. Yep. What did I tell you? Friendship's over. I win the bet. Now drop bad breath and give me 50. Yes, mistress. <laughs> ah! One. <laughs> well, looky looky over there. It's the homeless elf Jasper. Uh, how do you know that? I read it in the morning myth. Isn't that for fairies? I eat it for the articles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah! Now is not a good time, bro. I'm not in the mood for company. Ooh. 
we happen to know you're looking for a little place to call home. And we have it. Harry, wouldn't you say, Mr. Flea? Oh, indeedy. And aromatic. Aromatic is good. Did I mention water view? You got it. Water. Water is good. But what Weez is offering is a place all to yourself. No strings attached. All we are asking for this amazing residential opportunity is a one-time deposit. My own place. Away from Peaky Burley. Sounds good. I'll take it. Let me get you the case. Uh-oh, the elf's hanging with some shonky types. I best help Hurley. Not quite what I was expecting from your lowdown, Scrag. Look, I'll throw in a set of bed sheets on the house, Mr. Flea. <laughs> Hooray! Hey, the lights say welcome. Thanks for telling me, Opal. Oh, the thought of Jasper living in the drain with those rats. Oh! Okay, Frank, rev up the electric eel and we'll finish off the tree roots. Tree roots? What are they up to? Jasper! Not the green sleeves, Tune! Jasper? Jasper, what are you doing here? I live here now, me and my buds. Hi! Oh, hi, Lice. But why the drain? You love the outdoors. I have nowhere else to go. You don't want me. Jasper, you're my best friend, but I need my own space. The bongos, the ants, the crumbs in my bed, the... <laughs> I guess I did kind of overstay my welcome. I'm sure I do things that annoy you. Like the non-stop lists, the early wake-up calls, obsessive cleaning, endless chores. Okay, I get your point. <laughs> Let's agree to never live together again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Quick, help me with no. Burly, wait! Off like lickety split! Oh, that is some serious rootage. Hurley! Hurley, Burly! Quick! Over here! Oh. 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 You okay? We made it! Oh, Jasper! Here it is. Here is what? My new home. Solid! The persons won't be cutting this house down. <laughs> Love what you've done with the place, Jasper. It's a very, um, elfish way. <laughs> <laughs> you see, mistress, true friendship will always win out. <laughs> now, as to our wager, <laughs> I would like... Ah! 